Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Jetbase series, a mix of Jetpack Compass and Firebase. This is our fifth video from the series. In this video, we will create a login sign up using Firebase real time database. Firebase authentication is used only to authenticate the data, while Firebase real time database stores the data. It can store anything your name, phone number, email, username or any information. In our case, we will store name, email and password. Now, a little disclaimer that ideally you are not supposed to store passwords directly in the database. Either use a hash or encryption. Hence, for login and sign up, always use Firebase authentication. But if you want to store more data while signing up, then you can use a combination of Firebase Authentication and Firebase Real-Time Database. Got it? See, this is an educational video for you to practice, so it's fine. But you're not allowed to implement this in production apps, okay? Now let's create it. Open Android Studio. Create a new project. Name the project JB Login Real-Time. And click on Finish. As I previously said, we will store name, email, and password while signing up. And at the time of login, only email and password will be used to authenticate the user. Technically, it will check if the user's email and password matches with the database email and password. If yes, the login is successful. If no, the login fails. Simple. Now, let's connect a project with Firebase. Go to Tools. Firebase, choose Real Time Database, get started with Real Time Database, click on Connect to Firebase, Firebase console will be open automatically. Click on Create a Firebase project, I'll keep the name as it is. Follow the steps shown on the screen. And then, our project is successfully connected to Firebase. Next, add dependencies by clicking on Accept Changes. Then go to Firebase Console. In your project, choose Real Time Database. Create Database. Choose US as the servers. Start in Test Mode. And click on Enable. Our project is successfully connected to the Firebase Real Time Database. Now let's write the code for it. Go to Gradle. Add these three dependencies. This is for navigation and this is for Firebase database. I'll mention them in the description box so you can copy and paste from there. Click on sync now and done. Next, we will create three screens, login screen, sign up screen and home screen. So let me quickly create all of them and done. Now go to main activity. Remove the default code. Here we will write the code for navigation. Navigation includes navigating between the sign up screen to the login screen or from the login screen to the home screen. So create a nav controller that will handle all the navigations and below it create a nav host which will act as a host. The parameters include nav controller and start destination as the login screen whose keyword is login, means our first screen is the login screen. We have three screens, hence create three composable for them. First, we need to add three composable function in the respective file. And done. Login is for the login screen with the nav controller. Likewise, sign up is for the sign up screen and home is for the home screen. These are the keywords that we will use for navigation. Also, these errors will be gone once we finish writing the code. Now go to sign up screen. Here we will create six items. One sign up title, three text fields, one sign up button, and one text button that leads to the login screen. Simple. Let's start by adding a new host controller for navigation. Then create variables such as name, email and password using mutable state of, add required imports, then 
we need two more variables error that will store the error message and context which is used for toast then below it create a box with fill max size padding 16 dp and content alignment as center this covers an entire screen then inside the box create a column with horizontal alignment as center horizontally and inside the column create a first item that is title text sign up give it a style headline medium then a spacer of 20 dp height let me format the code to make it more understandable next our second item is an outline text field for name whose value is obviously the name variable on value change is the current name that is it and its label basically the hint text is name okay again a spacer of 8 dp height again an outline text field for email whose on value change is the current email provided by the user and the label text is email then again a spacer of 8 dp height again an outline text field whose value is password on value change is the current password and the label text is password then a spacer of 20 dp height now comes the button this is where the logic is keep it fill max width padding 16 dp and inside on click focus okay if the name is not empty and an email is also not empty and an password is also not empty means all the data is present in that case the below logic will work what does the logic say first declare an initialize firebase database and store it in the database variable the initialization goes like firebase database dot get instance dot reference dot child users this users is our database name inside all the other data will be saved then create a user id using push dot key every data needs to be called by a unique id which could be anything like an email or phone number those are unique values right in our case we can use an email instead of a random user id but firebase does not store a full stop mark hence while storing email as the key value you need to do some replacement and all hence go for easy and use random unique user id then next we will store all the user data using a map of here the key is the name word and the value is the name variable likewise email and password now once we have a database name and its key let's store the data in it how database dot child which is the user id then the set value of the user data which includes name email and password add on success listener means if the data is successfully stored in the database then navigate to the login screen using login as the keyword and pop up to zero means to clear the backstack else see this if says if the values are present then all of this will happen but if the values are not present that is else in that case the error will store the message as please fill all the fields lastly the button text says create account below is a spacer of 8 dp height then a text button a clickable text the clickable text will navigate the user to the login screen by clearing the backstack using pop up to the clickable text says already have an account login lastly below it write if the error is not empty means the error message is present then throw a toast and display that error message and that's it our sign up screen is ready here is the list of all the imports next go to login screen here we will have five items one title text two text fields 
one login button and one text button. The login code is similar to the sign up screen code. Hence, to save your time, we will copy and paste the entire sign up code here. Now, carefully look at all the changes. First, make this login screen. Then, remove the name variable because we are using email and password only for authentication. Here, the title text is login. Then, remove the name text field and its spacer. Email and password will be as it is except that the password will have a visual transformation meaning those stars. Then remove the entire code present in the buttons on click and we will write a fresh one. So inside the on click, first initialize the Firebase database by referring to the user's database name. In sign up, we used set value to add the data. But here in login, we will use get to read the data. Add on success listener means that if the data is successfully read, then the following code will be executed. Initially, keep the user found variable as false. Then using a for loop, go through the list of children's data and store it in the user variable. Then get the value of email and password and store them in their respective user email and user password variables. If the email written by the user is equal to the email at the time of sign up and the password written by the user is equal to the password at the time of sign up, meaning the credential match with the database credentials. Hence, user found will become true and navigate the user to the home screen by clearing the backstack. Break the loop. Then, if user found is not true, means false, then the error will store the message as invalid email or password. And the button text says login. Next, below it, a spacer of 8 dp height. A text button that redirects the user to the sign up screen by clearing the backstack. The text button says don't have an account, sign up. Lastly, if the error is not empty, means an error is present then throw an error toast. And that's it. Our login screen is also ready. Now go to home screen. Here we will have two items. One text that says welcome to the home screen and one logout button. Home screen is a composable function with the name host controller for navigation. Inside it, create a box with fill max size and content alignment as center. Then inside the box, create a column with horizontal alignment as center horizontally. Inside the column, the text says, Welcome to the home screen with font size as 24 SP. Then below it, a spacer of 20 dp height. Then create a logout button whose on click will navigate the user back to the login screen by clearing the back stack. The button text says log out and that's it. Our home screen is also ready. Now let's run the app. This is what the UI looks like. Also, I get it. The UIs are too basic because this series focuses on Firebase and Jetpack Compose logic instead of designing. But I'll make sure to upload separate videos where I will create beautiful Jetpack Compose UIs. Okay, now let's register first. So go to sign up screen, write your name, email and password. Click on the create account button and look, we are automatically redirected to the login screen. Now log in with the same credentials and here we are. Welcome to the home screen. Now I'll click on the logout button and we are back to the login screen. Great. Also, if you have a look over here in the Firebase console, you can see users is a database. Inside it, the key has a unique user ID. And inside the user ID, we have our email, name, and password. Perfect. This is what I was talking about in the disclaimer. Do not store your password directly like this. Got it? So yeah, that's it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. 
and i'll see you in the next video